As we all know, India has recently crossed 3 million COVID-19 cases, registering the highest number of cases in the world in the month of August. At the same time, several parts of India are battling severe floods. In the midst of all this, the central government is insisting on holding GNEET exams. All of us have appeared for exams at some point or another. Students go through enough pressure as it is during exams. Last-minute revisions are stressful enough. But now the government expects students to also worry about wearing masks, maintain social distancing and sanitize themselves regularly on top of it. As a parent, I know this is impossible to do. It is strange that only the central government can't relate to this. Exam centers are often far away from homes of students, especially if they live in rural areas. Since the lockdown began, it is extremely difficult for people to find transportation even over short distances. How does the government expect students from faraway locations to find transportation? Several students come from low-income families. How are they supposed to afford to hire a vehicle to get to the exam centers? The flood situation is especially dire in states like Assam and Bihar. Are students expected to risk their lives to brave torrential rain and floods to give exams? India is the land of joint families. Almost all of us have a grandparent or a vulnerable family member living with us. By forcing students to crowd together by hundreds in classrooms not only puts their health at risk, it puts the lives of our vulnerable family member at risk. And this can potentially lead to a COVID-19 outbreak. Only a completely heartless government can ignore the pleas of countless students, parents, teachers and even chief ministers to postpone the exams. But the Congress party will not stand by while our students and their families are put at risk. The Congress joins the students in demanding that the exams be postponed. Students are our country's future and that future can't be risked for the ego of one party and one man.